Hey, shalom, shalom. This is Alf Sulzba giving up his T. Halba, Shem Yah Shabba, Shem Yah Kadash, double honesty, apostles of GMS, and honesty, brothers who don't work, the most on truth and in sincerity. This is a quick one uh, inspired by a comment that Shabazz made. It was the spirit when he made it, you know, speaking about how you have certain camps of, uh, uh, you which when I say Shabazz, um, I, I don't know his full title, but it's, you know, the, the, um, the, the individual that. Uh, the apostles have been, you know, doing videos on. Uh, recently, he was on Doggy D's or something, something like that. His channel and it was basically, uh, you know, he was basically as apostles asked. It was basically, you know, uh, preaching. You know, um, basically he said, uh, you know, and these other camps have taken away the names, and the names are are, are like the passwords to the kingdom, right? So hey, let's let, let's let's go into it and uh, 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 prove what he's saying. This is Acts four and twelve. It says neither is there any salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Right. So for us to be saved, we there there must be a name wherein we will call on, right? And there is no other names, right? Whether you know you want to give different titles, because this is the thing, right? You know Yahweh, which is the name of the Father, Yahweh. So he 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 is, right? Um, and uh, Yahweh Shai, right? Uh, 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 he, um, uh, he deliver, right? Which uh, you know, in the, the the bastardization of that name and the in the in the Greek and then into the English would be Jesus, right? When the Greek would have been more like Jesus, because the J only came around. What was it? I did a video. I did a video, and then I hope that I'd remember. <laughs> hey, these bodies are shit, man. Um, I mean, the the letter J. It's in my videos. It's in my videos somehow. Just I think it's the last couple, last couple hundred years, right? Um, is when the letter J came along, right? So the the name of our Lord couldn't have been Jesus, right? Um, so once again, our Lord was a Hebrew. Right, so what language did the Hebrew speak? In fact, let's um, let's grab this in Acts. Right, this is Acts twenty. Let me. I remember how it's written. Um, in the Hebrew, this is Acts twenty. Which one do I want? I want this one. Boo. So you can see it. You can see the evidence. Right. This is Acts twenty six and forty fourteen. <clears throat> And when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me and saying in the Hebrew tongue, look, this is, this is, this is written in red, right? Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks, right? So this is here proving that Saul, uh, uh, Yahweh Shalom when he's speaking to, at the time, his name, he was going by the name Saul, he let get his name changed to Paul. He was speaking Hebrew. Right, because Hebrew is the language of the of the well Hebrews, <laughs> right? And it's the land, it's the language of 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 of, of the heavenly realm. Well, we will refer to it as the Lashawan Kadash, right? Lashawan meaning tongue, right? Um, uh, 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 and and Kadash meaning holy, right? You can also say Lashawan Tahar, right? Tahar meaning pure, right? So Lashawan Kadash or the Lashawan Tahar. All right, so we'll read that again, Acts 4 and 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. So we don't know the names of the, the, the Father, we don't know the names of the Son, then we cannot be saved, right? So, you know, all this thing about, oh, we're going to learn that in the kingdom. Look, man, we need to call on something now, <laughs> you know. This is Zechariah, I'm going to start from 13, I'm going to start from 8. You see what I'm bringing it out, right? It says, and it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. So two parts, uh, you know, this is referring um, uh, to, to the land of America, right? Because uh, that word their land is singular. It says uh, two parts of our people over there in the land of America, they're just going to, they're going to perish, right? They're going to die. They're not going to make it. Okay, but one part, Right, uh, they they they're gonna make it, right? Um, and you know the the sinners of the Lord's people all over the world, they're just gonna be they're just gonna be put to death, man. Well, you could read that pursuant to Amos nine and ten, 
but we'll catch this and I'll reverse nice and I'll bring the third part through the fire and we'll find them as silver is re refined right and we'll try them as gold is tried they shall call upon my name and I will hear them I will say it is my people and they shall say the Lord is my power right so we're going to be calling upon you know the elect of the land we're going to be calling upon the name and ultimately all all of the elect of israel all of the israel of 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 of, of, of the most high right because you've got the israel of god and then you've got the the other israel man right which which is it <laughs> which you know you know the, the you know the others man um see <laughs> So I said, yeah, it says, so w w the elect are going to call upon the name of Yahweh Hashem Shai, right? You know, we're going to be, uh, you know, pronouncing it to the world. Why? Because ultimately, let's, let's not forget why the Lord is saving us in the first place. That that's an important factor. That's a very important factor. This is Ezekiel 36 and 21. But I had pity for mine holy name, which the house of Israel had profaned among the heathen, whither they went. Therefore, thus saith the house. Uh, therefore, say unto the house of Israel, thus saith the Lord Power, I do not this for your sake, O house of Israel, but for mine holy name's sake, which ye have profaned among the heathen. Right. So when the Lord is coming to save us, He's not even uh, saving us for our sake. Right. He's saving us for His name's sake. Okay. This is and I will sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen. Right, which ye have profaned in the midst of them, and the heathen shall know that I am Yahweh, because uh, saith the Lord Power, right, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes, right. So when the Lord is delivering us, that's going to be, um, uh, uh, that's going to be uh, like, that's that's going to be, you know, the the, the way it's going to happen is all the nations they're going to be like, look, man. Hey, that's the that's the that's the God of Israel, man. When that's gonna put that respect back on the name of of of, of Yah Bar Shem Shai, right? Everyone's gonna you know know that name. Everyone's gonna reverence that name, right? Um, so Joshua two and ten, right? I'm start from eight, right? It says, and before they were laid down, she came up unto them upon the roof. And she said unto the men, I know that Yahweh hath given you the land, right? And that your terror is fallen upon us and that all the inhabitants of the land faint because of you. For we have heard how the Yahweh dried up the water, right, of the Red Sea for you when you came out of Egypt. And what you did unto the two kings of the Amorites that were on the other side of Jordan, right, Sihon and Og, whom ye utterly destroyed, right? So... Last time around, when 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 the Lord delivered us delivered us from ancient Egypt, right? Uh, his His name was magnified, right? And this is the same thing that is being prepared to happen again. Why? Because a hey, when when this destruction is happening, when all these things are coming to pass, right? Guess what the people are saying? The people are saying, "Who who else is teaching this?" Right? That's what they're gonna be saying. They're gonna they're gonna ask themselves, "Well." You know, everything that's happening, was that in the Quran? No, so it can't have been Allah that did it, right? Uh, everything that's happening, was it in the books that them Buddhists use? No, it, kind of, it couldn't have been uh, a Buddha, right? Then it'll be like, what was it, you know, what these Christians say? They're going to be like, nah, you know, they, they, they were talking about peace and prosperity, <laughs> so it couldn't have been Jesus. But then they're going to say, but you know what I do remember? Them is them 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 great millstone guys. They kept saying two names. They kept saying Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, right? And everything that they've said has come has has is, is would happen has come to pass, right? Therefore, who did it? Yahweh did it. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, by way of the son Yahweh Shai, right? This is Ezekiel thirty three thirty three. And when it cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. Right, so when everything has come to pass, everything's happened. They're gonna people. It's gonna be known that the Lord was dealing with a great millstone. Right, that's it's, it's gonna be plain and evident. And it's it's one of these things. Even as I'm I'm doing this video now, so how be it that the Lord is you know bestowed the apostles the understanding of everything that is to happen. 
all of these different prophecies, everything else in the scriptures, apart from the single most important thing, apart from the password to the kingdom, right? Apart from the one thing required for salvation, how, how can it be so? Just Acts 4 and 12 again, neither is there salvation any other, for there is none other name under heaven, right? Given among men whereby we must be saved. So without this name, we cannot be saved. So the Lord gave the apostles everything else. Everything else apart from the name. Does that even make sense? Scripture says in Amos 3 and 7, The Lord Yahweh will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret to his servants, the prophets. Right? And hey, if, you, if you're saying that we don't have the name, then why aren't these other camps praying for the name? Once again, we read this precept, and if you say, look, we don't know the name, then I would be praying for the name, <laughs> right? But as opposed to ours, as, 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 as um, you know, uh, spoken on, and, you know, brothers of experience, you know, you get them demonic attacks, right, and them demons, but you, you call upon the name of Yahba Hashem, Shai, right, and then they, them demons will do a couple of things. Right, you'll be calling up on their names, and demons will call them up, like, up from what I've experienced. You know, will kind of like close your throat, so you can't, you can't, you know, you struggle to finish saying it out loud, right? So you'd be trying to, see, you know, you'd be, you know, you'd be like, oh, "Boot is doing the name, yeah," and then it's just trying to stop you from saying the name, right? Or will you say the name, and then it gets off you, right? Whatever, what have you? Right, but we, we, we've experienced when, you know, we, we say the names and then certain things happen. Okay. Why? Because those those names are we we have the names, man, right? Through the spirit and power and mercy of Yahweh Shemi Shai. Because as we read, you can't be saved without it. It's the keys, it's the password to the kingdom, it's the password to salvation. It's Proverbs 30 and 4. Because yeah, imagine you read this priest that we haven't got the names. That means the Lord isn't, hasn't had mercy on us. Madness. This is Proverbs 30 and 4. It says, who hath ascended up into heaven or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fists? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name? If thou canst tell. That's what is, what is the name? Right, you know, we can't just be sitting there or be like, Oh, we don't know, we'll find out later on. Right, if you're saying you don't know, why, why isn't, why isn't you know, Bishop Nathaniel going out there, you know, pushing and being like, Yo, congregation, hey, we need to pray so that the Lord can reveal us his reveal unto us his name, but he's not doing that. This is Zechariah 14 and 9. It says, And the Lord your house shall be king over all the earth. In that day shall there be one Lord and his one and, and his name one. Right? So hey, they ain't gonna be you, you know there isn't gonna be you no know, discussions about you know and when the Lord is you know once again revered. Because that's the thing, the Lord is is, is king over the earth. The Lord Lord Yahweh is ruler over everything. However, Right, you know, the way that Esau will set this world up and, you know, couple that with the discontinue from our heritage. People people don't know. People might fear a oh God and they fear Jesus, right? But they don't, they don't, apart from Great Millstone, right? And people that, you know, follow the doctrine of Great Millstone, no one fears Yahweh. No one reverences Yahweh by, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, right? Why Yahweh Shai? No one reverences, but, in the, you know, in the days and the times to come, Right, that's going to be correct because the scriptures talks about how every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Right, so as always, Lord's will, I was edifying. Till next time, shalom.